Okay, so welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Um, this one doesn't really have a name, but it's a fix for a problem that I've been having. If you use for WordPress custom fields, the plugin Advanced Custom Fields Pro, you can create an options page. Now an options page is something that has global data stored in it. So I could store a series of addresses on an options page and call that options page up in the footer or in various different places. I can use that same data in many different places in my theme. If you then need to make your website multilingual and you use the plugin WPML, WordPress Multilingual, you will come into a problem. Now that works, that plugin works fine with advanced custom fields for on-page fields and the, those translations. What it can't seem to do, and I can't find a actual proper uh, use by using the plugins uh, to solve this, is allow you to pull in that content from the options page onto a uh, local language version of your page. So I've got an example here. So I've just set up a repeater field on my options page of two addresses, address name uh, and address town. And so I've just put two fake addresses in there, address one and that's in Reading and address two is in Basingstoke. I've put together a page template which has uh, just the page title in it and then it pulls in the addresses from that repeater field on the options page. So you can see here it's looking for uh, the field called addresses on the options page and then it's just looking for the subfields of name and town. Now that is on a page template called test. So I created a page called test page and it uses that page template test here. If I go and show you what that page looks like, it simply displays the information as I've got it in the uh, template file, address one Reading and address two Basingstoke. Great. What I've then done is set up a French version of this page. So I just simply set up my website to use French and German and I clicked translate. That took me to the French version of the page. I called it test page. And then I clicked save. It's using the same template down here as you can see, test. And the only thing that's different about the page URL uh, is the, the, the FR that denotes the, the page language. So if I add in FR here, so this would be going to the French version of that page, it just loads the page title. It does not pull in that um, uh, the, the options field data. So I spent about four hours trying different methods and looking through the WPML settings because there is somewhere in translation management and then multilingual content setup where you can set field groups to be translatable. And if you do that and then you go into custom fields and you find your field group, uh, so I'm in English, if you go into custom fields and go find your options page, you can go in there and you can select that to be, you can see it's translatable there, and you can create a French version of it. So, you know, I, I could, uh, I've already already done that, but I'll, I'll, I'll sync it up again now so you can see what that looks like. So if I go to my French one, it's created a duplicate field group now for French. I've just called it addresses FR, and it's got that same repeater field in here. Now I had to recreate that, so that means you have got to recreate your custom field set. If I click update on there, it's set to load on the options page. You would think that by how the other page content works, if you then go into options and you're selected French, you would have uh, your French information here. That's great, that works. So I've put address one, address two, that information is in there and this is addresses FR. So I could even put FR on the end here so you can tell it's putting in the right information. 
I can then switch this back to English and you can see the 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 it's using the same field in the database so the English version of the options page and the French version of the options page uses the same data so that means it's not going to give you a different option a different a different data set that's one problem but it's still not bringing in on that page those custom fields now some of you may know actually the solution to this and are screaming at the camera and, and saying, no, you do it like this. If you do know the answer, please uh, please comment below. Please email me um, and I will do a new video with the new solution to this. But what I had to do to solve the problem was to kind of bypass the options page altogether and create my own my own one really. So what I've done is I've created a page template called options and that simply has on it a uh, header meta redirect and a PHP redirect and I'll, I'll get go back to that but that's all I need to do for now. I've then created a page called options page and I've given that the page template that I've created here of options page. You then go into custom fields, go to your options page uh, field set, and then just add in here that to show this field set, this field group on the page template options page. So you can see that it's actually set to show on the options page there, as well as the template called options page, which is just a normal page template. Once you update that and then you go into pages, that then gives you your field group that you've created. So I've then put in the same set of information in as my original options page, but just so you can tell that's pulling in the right information, I'm going to put options here and there and update that. And then what you then have to do is create your foreign language version. So I've actually already created a French page, but uh, so what I would do up here is I would click on translate on the little plus sign for French. That will then take me to this page. I can then um, give it a title, make sure the URL is the same. And that is set to copy over the information. Uh, you can translate this page independently, which means you can put in French data into those fields. But if you just want that same global options to appear in any language the same language uh, the same same data then uh, don't translate that page independently so if I click update on that I've then got a page which has got global content on it in French and in English but obviously that at the moment is just acting like a normal page I want to pull that data in to other places in my theme so I've then created another page template called page test alt and the purpose of this was just to illustrate that um, I'm using a different page template so it's not pulling in from anywhere else. So uh, this is just a simple page template much like the one before of test except I've copied that same information in and I've just taken the options parameter out of the the function because I want to pull in the address information from this page. Now within my page template I've just set up a simple query which is saying look for page ID 20 and then grab the data from there because obviously that options page data is only on this page I've created. Now to get the page ID if you go to your pages view and hover over the, you are, the the link that takes you through to the page editor. Down below in the bot, bottom left hand corner you can see the URL of the page and it will say post equals 20, so that's page ID 20. So I've said what I want to do on this page is show the title of my page but then look at page 20 and bring in this information here. So then to display this I've set up another page called page alt and I've given that the page template of test alt which is what I created here and now if I go to this page 
it shows me options one and options two for my two addresses, which is exactly what it was doing for the original proper ACF options page, but it wasn't doing it in French. So now if I go to forward slash FR and load that, it has now loaded the French version of that page with my global options. Now, this is only a workaround, so obviously it's got its drawbacks, one of which is that you've actually then now got a page called options. If you remember a minute ago, I showed you that page template and it had a redirect URL in it. So the only thing that that does, that page, it doesn't display any content. Um, and because what we don't want is for there to be this page of duplicated random content on your website that people can stumble across. If someone was to go to um, this page here, which at the moment is test.dev forward slash options page, uh, you would want them to move away from that without seeing anything. So what I've done is I've created a redirect uh, PHP header redirect in this page template and I've just redirected on a custom field of redirect link. So what that means is that I can simply uh, create a field which is redirect link uh, with that ID and any URL I pop, pop in there whenever you land on options page it will redirect to it. So if I just then go in here and create a new custom field and add a new field group, we'll just call that one redirect. And then we'll create a field called redirect link. And then we'll set that up to go onto the page template of the options page, because that's what you want to redirect. So set up to go onto options page, publish that. If I now go into pages and then go to the options page, I'll then have a field to set up my redirect link. If I just put in forward slash there, that'll take me to the home page, but I could also just put in the URL, test.dev, and update that. That means now anyone that lands on this page, test.dev, forward slash options hyphen page, it will redirect them straight to the home page. So then you're not having people landing on a page that they shouldn't be landing on, but also you are getting around the problem of the translatable content from the options page not showing on a local language version of your pages. Anyway, I hope that actually helps at least one person. Um, it's definitely something that there is not a lot of information about online. So if anyone has any questions, please let me know, do get in touch. And uh, that's it for this video, cheers.